I'm George Hernandez, faculty at the University of Miami School of Architecture, a practicing architect and a longtime resident of Coral Gables, a city I dearly love. I'm here to, hear, to talk a little bit about the Gables, but more particularly about one key building, the studio of the prominent architect, H. George Fink. We know the city of Coral Gables is one of the great prizes that we enjoy here in South Florida. It's a verdant neighborhood. It's important in the history of planning for the United States. And it hit a high mark of architectural and urbanistic and civic artistry. George Merrick, the founder, amassed around him a group of collaborators that made this dream a reality. Frank Button, the great landscape architect, George H. and Denman Fink, who were relatives of Merrick, Phineas Paste, Walter de Garmo, and many, many, many others over the years. But it was the pairing of Denman Fink and George H. Fink that from the beginning set the standard for the city. So George H. Fink's studio is like a work of scenography when seen from Ponce. It takes a narrow lot in the middle of the block and creates the illusion of great depth, almost like a painting does. And it does this by setting the facades back and breaking the facades into three components that picturesquely arrange themselves relative to each other and to the sidewalk. The living room, or the main space behind the facade, is a story and a half high and has beautiful leaded windows and Gothic Venetian tracery. There is, a there is a tower, tall and stern, barely penetrated by any fenestration, and then a two-story portion of the facade, which has an entryway and beautiful decorative elements and a balcony. All of these are brought together, and when you come in, you enter this beautiful story-and-a-half lobby that's really fashioned like a domestic living room. This is one of the few absolutely intact interiors in Coral Gables after 90 years of founding. And recently, the city has decided to purchase it, which is an extraordinary decision, just the correct one, in fact, to secure this unique example of Mediterranean architecture, which is used as a model in our Mediterranean bonus ordinance to secure the future of the city uh, as being one related to its original architecture. But it is a, an example of the, a key high note of Mediterranean architecture in Coral Gables. And now we will own it in the public trust. I can think of no better way to celebrating the 90th anniversary of the city's founding than for the city commission and for the city staff to work together and obtain this building, obtain this piece of Coral Gables legacy and heritage and put it in the public's trust. Thank you. I'm Donna Spain, and I'm the Historical Resources and Cultural Arts Director for the City of Coral Gables. And I'm so excited that the city is purchasing 2506 Ponce de Leon Boulevard. That's the H. George Fink Studio. This building was designated in 1984 as a local historic landmark, and that designation was based on not only its architectural significance, because it's the best example of Mediterranean architecture in the city of Coral Gables, but was also based on its association with H. George Fink, uh, its architect, and Dr. Kitchen, who owned it for a while. Um, and it was also based on its location, because they recognized even in 1984 that this is a building surrounded by contemporary buildings that's located right in the middle of the downtown of Coral Gables also want to thank the Dabby family. They've owned this building for almost 50 years and they have taken such good care of it. When you walk into the lobby of this building it's as if you're walking back in time into the 1920s and they've graciously uh, included in the sale of this building to the city the original furnishings which are just amazing. So I really want to thank them and also the elected officials and the city administration for stepping up and recognizing the importance of this building to the history of the city and purchasing it because I can't think of any better legacy to celebrate the 90th anniversary of the city than acquiring this building.
The research that I did on my George Merrick book, I was able to kind of resurrect George Fink as the important person that he was in Coral Gables. He is Coral Gables' most prolific architect. He was involved with George and Denman Fink and Frank Button in the very beginning and all the planning. Uh, many of his buildings remain. But in um, 1924, he went to Europe for two months, traveled the Mediterranean, and came back and said, we should not be calling this Spanish architecture. We should be calling it Mediterranean style. So he invented the term and started using it. And uh, it should not be Mediterranean revival because it's an invented style. And then in 1924, he did a plan for his studio. And he said he would show what this style really meant. But when you went into his studio, he had all the different parts. It wasn't completed until really 26, but uh, it was very special uh, when it was. Unfortunately, uh, he did not remain in Coral Gables a whole lot longer because he had been so popular in building uh, headquarters for George Merrick all over America. And he also did a major uh, Mediterranean style building on Flagler Street right next to the Olympia Theater where he was able to show off Coral Gables Mediterranean style architecture for uh, visitors. And he also said that the headquarters on Flagler Street also demonstrated his style. This is a wonderful acquisition that the city has done because we'll be able to take people in there and explain to them what has made Coral Gables so special. And I think with Coral Gables constantly in and out of under siege by a more modern architecture, that we need to remind everyone what makes Coral Gables, Coral Gables. And the Fink Studio will do this better than anything else we have.